Hello, PGA PD friends. My name is Matt Concioldi. I'm the EMS Chief and Public Information Officer here at Platteville Gilcrest Fire. I'm excited to share with you a brand new episode of Fully Involved at PGFPD. I'm here at the beautifully remodeled Station 2 in Gilcrest to feature our very first apparatus tour, 3602. So kids, come with me in the bay. Check out this cool fire engine. Well, friends, I'm in the Apparatus Bay with two PGFPD heroes. My name is Engineer Burks. And I'm Lieutenant Fresco. Before we start the tour, do you recognize Engineer Lieutenant from something else? If you do, have yourself or your parents type in their name or what video you saw them from. So, Lieutenant, what is all housed at this station? Well, here at Station 2 in Gilcrest, we have an engine medic unit, a brush truck, and a tender. But today, we'll be talking about our beautiful 2016 Rosenbauer Commander engine that we so lovingly call 3602. So, Lieutenant, why is it called 3602? Well, here in Weld County, we are station 36, and then pumper trucks are usually number zero up to the teens. And so this being a pumper truck, engine two, 3602. So then, the kids are probably wondering, what is the primary function of the fire engine? The beauty of the fire engine is, this is what puts the fire out. This is the pumper, this is for fire attack. So our job is to go directly to the source of the fire and put it out. Now, in your works, I see a lot of levers there and a bunch of hoses. How does that work with fire attack? So on this engine, we have over 2,000 feet of hose. This may look confusing, but the point of all of this is to take that hose and get water in it and get water on the fire. So all these levers, you let us bring water in or push water out. We have intakes, we have discharges. These are our pre-connect hose. So they're already set up and ready to go so we can put water on the fire as quickly as possible. I like to think of this as the heart of the engine. This is where all the work happens. Wow, Engineer Burks, that's some really cool information. So kids, I got a secret to tell you about the engine. Each one of these exterior compartments have tools strategically placed so the firefighter can do their jobs quicker and more efficiently. So, what's in the next compartment that we see here? Right here, we have the engineer's compartment, or sometimes called the brass house. It's just got a lot of fittings and tools to let us take all that hose and put it together in different configurations. It gives us a lot of versatility on the fire ground. So I'm sure the kids are wondering, if a house is on fire and there's nobody home, how are you going to get inside the house to fight the fire? Well, that's a great question, kids. Come on over and I'll show you. So these two tools are called the irons. One is a flathead axe and one is called a halligan bar. You might think, whoa, those tools are really big and scary. But these tools in combination together help us do something called forcible entry. So as we move around the engine, I see this massive fan right there. What is the purpose of that big fan? So there's a lot of uses, but the main use for the fan is, especially after a fire, there's a lot of smoke in the houses. So we need to get that out so we can see much better and make a more livable space. So we'll use the fan to push that smoke where we need it to go. So other things we have in this compartment is we have our airbags. So if there's ever an issue where we need to lift something heavy, 
we can put these bags underneath and make a lift. And it can be a significant amount of weight. We have all our cribbing here too to make sure we're capturing that progress as we're lifting that weight. Hey Chief, let's go around to the back of the engine. I got some tall ladders and some more fire attack tools to share with our viewers. So come on kids, come around to the back side with us. All right everyone, so as you can see, this here is our 24 foot extension ladder. And this is used for all kinds of rescue operations. We can throw ladders up to the side of your house, climb up to your window and bring you back down. We also have a 14 foot roof ladder, some pike poles, and some different other hand tools that we like to use, all for keeping you guys safe during a fire. In addition to that, you might also notice that we have this hose back here. It might look a little different from some of the hoses that you saw in the front of the apparatus. Well, this is rubber hose, and it's used for grass fires and uh, small little mop-up operations as well. So you'll notice here in the back, we have larger hose. We use that for moving much more water. So if there's a really big fire, we'll use this large hose with this Blitz Fire monitor to put out that fire. Now friends, I'm sure you're learning lots about 3602. We still have a whole nother side. And I bet if you see 3602 rolling through town, you'll be able to pick out exactly what is in each one of these compartments. And I uh, got a special treat for you friends. This side that we're on now, this is where the tools get really cool. So follow me over here. So Lieutenant. Yes sir. Our friends are probably wondering, why with all the hoses do you have fire extinguishers? Huh. Well, kids, these aren't just any fire extinguishers. This here's a water can. This here is an ABC extinguisher. And this here is a CO2 extinguisher. Because we have to be prepared for all fires, big and small, and many different types of reasons that the fires can start. But let's get back to our cool tools. So, Lieutenant, first off, what's an ABC fire extinguisher? All right, so this is a class ABC extinguisher. It puts out fires in classes A, B, and C. Class A fires are like wood and paper, ordinary construction. Class B fires are for liquids and grease, and class C fires are for electrical issues. The kids, here's that treat I was telling you about. These here are what's called the jaws of life. Engineer Burks, let's pull these out and show the kids a closer look. Absolutely. These tools here are for extrication. I know that sounds like a big word, but that just means if there's a car accident and we have to go cut somebody out of the car, these tools are here to help us. And as you can see, kids, we got a couple different types of tools. So this here is called the spreaders, and it's used for pulling apart. These back here, these are called cutters, and they're just like big scissors. And this last one here, this is called the ram, and it's used for pushing. We're very fortunate to have these tools that are all battery operated. Wow, that's some really powerful tools. What material can they cut through? Well, actually, it's all the metals on airplanes, trains, and automobiles. Lots of cutting. Speaking of cutting, our next department has some even cooler tools. We have a rotary saw, and our chainsaw. Hey, let's fire those things up. Absolutely. We'll start first with the rotary saw. We'll use this saw mostly for forceful entry if we need to cut through any metal or any padlocks or um, bars on windows or anything like that. Anywhere we need to make entry. Fun fact, this blade is diamond coated, giving us an extra strong material to get through virtually anything we want to get through. So we'll go ahead and start this thing up. Wow, that saw is loud. What other saws do you have in here? The next saw we have, you guys have probably seen before, is our chainsaw. So we use this mostly for doing uh, vertical ventilation. What that means is going up on the roofs and putting some holes up there. Basically putting a chimney in for you guys. Because that smoke builds up, visibility goes down. But 
If we put a nice hole in the top, visibility gets much better. So we'll go ahead and start this thing up. So Lieutenant, I see this RIT, R-I-T, on the side of your apparatus. What does that stand for and what exactly is in that compartment? Yes sir, so every fire engine across America all has one of these compartments. And this stands for Rapid Intervention Team. Those are a lot of big words, I know, but basically what it all boils down to is firefighters rescuing other firefighters who might be trapped or hurt inside a burning building. So inside this compartment, we have a special bag, we follow along, that's called the RIT bag. In this RIT bag, there's a big cylinder of air so that we can make sure that everybody stays safe and doesn't breathe smoke. There's some rope, there's a flashlight, and then some other hand tools that we can use to help rescue fellow firefighters. So friends, as we come to the next compartment here, I see something that says Rescue 42. Engineer Burks, what exactly does this get used for? So we'll use these struts in case we get a vehicle that's on its side or any position that it's unstable. We're worried while we're working it will shift and crush one of us or a patient. Now, if you're in a burning building, there's a lot of smoke and flames. How do you protect yourself when you're fighting the fire? Well, we do have a lot of personal protective equipment. Actually, in this compartment, we have spare air cylinders, but come over and follow me, and I'll show you more about everything that we wear. So as you can see, we're at the front seat of the engine here, and inside this seat, it's not a traditional seat like you have in your car. If you look inside, you can actually see that my air pack is in backpack form, and it's pressed into the seat. Now there's one pack for every seat in this engine, depending on how many firefighters that we have riding on it. All right, so how about I demonstrate what happens if we get a call? Now, nice and safe. Lieutenant Frascona and Engineer Burks, that was a fun tour learning all about 3602. Absolutely, and I'm so glad you guys could join us. If you hold on for one second, we got a special treat. We're gonna turn the lights and sirens on. Well, thank you for joining us today, learning about 3602. We really hope that you never have to use our service, but if you do, you know that we'll be there super fast with all the tools necessary to take care of the situation. We are PGFBD, here to serve the needs of our community. Stay tuned for another episode of Fully Involved at PGFPD. So on the back side of the Rescue 42s, we've got our handy dandy snow shovel for when it snows. And what I think is the coolest tool, Thor's hammer. So we'll use this to fend off any villains that come our way.